I hope everybody is doing well. Last few days, I spent some time cutting this lumber up here. We've got some two inch boards on the bottom here that are a little over eight feet long. And then I've also got this five quarter stock that I cut. I've got to get this stuff stacked at some point today. But yeah, some really nice stuff. This is all pine. Um, there's a few bug holes in a few of these pieces, but regardless, still really nice lumber. I've also got this pile of pine here. These are kind of just offcuts from the top of logs here, like these pieces that I don't want to see go to waste. So basically what I do with those is I stack them on this pallet over here. Once it gets a few feet tall, I will list it on Facebook Marketplace at a bulk deal and usually it sells within a couple of days. Like I said, I hate to see this stuff go to waste. So I'm glad that there are people out there that have a use for it. Without further ado, I'm gonna get these two logs on the mill here. That one's, I'm gonna say about nine or 10 inches. This one's probably about seven or eight inches. I'm not gonna get a whole lot of wood out of them, but I'm just gonna cut them into more five quarter pieces. And then I also need to cut up some more stickers today. So I might grab this log here since it's super curved, cut her in half, get that on the mill, cut that into some one by one inch stickers. Yeah, so I haven't had the mill running for a couple of days now, but I'm betting that it's going to start first pull, no doubt about it. Get the gas on the choke. So this is the yield of that log, nothing crazy. We got six boards that are five quarter by five inches wide, and then two live edge pieces here. Since unfortunately a lot of these logs have woodworms in them, um, I am removing the bark off these. That's actually where they lay their eggs. So taking the bark off, make sure that obviously disrupt their life cycle. See it there. Yeah, the bark is super easy to take off when the wood is wet. For the most part, it just peels off but you can kind of actually see on this piece some of the tracks and the sawdust left behind by the woodworms. Yeah, so fortunately that log was actually pretty straight. We got four boards out of that, five quarter, five inches wide, and I believe five feet long. I don't have my tape measure with me, so I can't check. I'm gonna get these washed off with the hose real quick, get the sawdust off of them, and then I'm gonna get a log on the mill, make some stickers with it. That way I can stack all this stuff. I'm gonna use this four foot section for some stickers real quick. I'm just gonna give her a cut right there. The trusty old Radley. Yeah, 
I don't know how many stickers I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna guess 25 or so. So we got a decent amount of stickers out of that. Some of them have some bug holes and some live edge on them, but nothing that we can't work around. I'm about to rinse these off so there's not too much sawdust sitting on them. And then I'm gonna get to stacking all this lumber and all of this lumber right here. All right, so I only spent a few hours out here today milling and stacking lumber, but I got all this live edge stuff stacked, stickered. That's looking good. I'll probably list that on Marketplace rather than adding more to the pile. This is that two inch stuff I was showing you earlier. And then here is all the five quarter stuff I stacked as well. I used almost all those stickers. It's crazy how much, how many stickers you use um, to dry all this lumber. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nothing too fancy, just milled up a couple of logs, stacked some lumber today on the HM126 from Woodland Mills. Had a lot of fun. Um, tomorrow I'll probably come back out here, tidy up a little bit, get ready for when the trailer comes in in the next few weeks. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to click the like button, subscribe, let me know your thoughts down below. I'll talk to you guys next time.